Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to use the C++ programming language. Today I'll be talking about how you can format your code and also how to use what are called comments to make notes um, for other humans rather than for the actual machine. So I'm going to type out the Hello World program again as I, uh, uh, which I discussed in the previous video. Um, but this is just so we have something to sort of work with so the first thing I'll talk about is the use of white space um, when you're working with C++. The nice thing about C++ is that it's very elastic with regards to white space. So you can pretty much have or not have white space anywhere in your program, almost anywhere, and uh, C++ will not care how it looks. Um, it just cares about what is actually, um, you know, what what is actually there. So what this means is that if you wanted, you can have as many returns as you want and they don't do anything. But even more than that, you could have extra spaces here, um, or extra spaces here, or you could even have a return here if you wanted. Um, you could have a return down here, you know, all of this. And this is all sort of tied to the uh, fact that you use semicolons to denote the end of an executable line and not returns. So it's really the semicolon, this is why semicolons are so important. It's really the semicolons that mark the end of a um, executable line of code and the returns and white space and everything that is all optional so we could put in another C out here if you wanted um, something like enjoy your stay I don't know hello world enjoy your stay and then we could um, add in extra returns you know extra spaces all of that it's totally up to you how you want your code to look so if for some reason this is you know, the easiest way for you to write your code, or the easiest way for you to understand what's going on, by all means do it. I'll just show you that um, this will compile just fine, um, just as well as if it was formatted, you know, normally. Um, and so it will work just fine. Now, just because you can throw in white space anywhere you want doesn't mean you should, though again, it's sort of up to you, in my opinion. Um, I like to have a, a good amount of white space, though not too much. Um, you'll notice I usually put spaces in here, though they are, again, not necessary. Um, though I like to have them there. You can't have a space in the middle of this operator, by the way, because that splits it into two operators. And also, if you put in white space in between the quotes, that's going to change your output, So, uh, since that's not really C++. But, um, you know, a friend of mine, for instance, doesn't like to have very much white space in his code, he just doesn't like how it looks, um, so he he chooses to leave out white space um, when he can. I tend to be the kind of person that errs on using extra white space rather than trying to minimize it, just because I find white space makes it easier to read, at least well-placed white space. So having a return in between these lines uh, might make the code easier to read. Though, if you wanted, you could put these actually all on the same line. And I'll have to make this a little wider, but um, because there's a semicolon there, you know that this is actually two lines of executable code that are um, on the same line. So you could even put the return zero up there, and now you have the whole code, sorry, the whole contents of the main function on one line. So I'll show you that this compiles the same and everything's fine. So it's totally up to you how you want to format your code uh, with regards to white space. There are some cases where you cannot just add white space wherever you want. This is true of preprocessor directives, so um, uh, which is like this include IO stream. If you put a, like a return right in the middle of here, that's going to cause a problem because um, just because of how preprocessor directives work, which is uh, that they sort of affect the whole line, and there's no semicolon there to denote the end of the preprocessor directive that's denoted with a return. So you can't just toss in white space literally wherever you want, though most of the time you can. Um, another very common thing is people will uh, put this uh, first brace of a function up on the same line as the declaration. I don't care to do that, though a lot of people really prefer it that way. I really don't prefer it that way, so I will be doing it like this. But it's the same thing. It's the same code. It means the same thing. 
and it means the same thing to the computer. It's just about making it human readable, making it easy to understand. So whatever works for you um, is really the best. So that's all I had to say about formatting. I'd now like to speak about comments, uh, which are ways of putting in human readable lines in the code uh, to sort of add a comment or maybe a little bit of documentation of some sort. So um, the, the first type of comment is with just two slashes and this applies to the whole line. It makes the entire line a comment. So this is another place where whitespace actually does have a function uh, because anything on the next line is no longer a comment. But since this is a, now a commented line I can put anything I want here. So um, at this part of the program we do the output. You know something like that. Something that if somebody hadn't looked at this code and they don't understand what's going on, they can look at this comment and say, oh, okay, they're doing the output here. Now I uh, better understand what's going on in, in this program. In this case, it may seem not necessary, especially now that you know what Cout um, is, but as programs get more and more complicated, having comments can be really helpful, not only to other people trying to understand your code, but you yourself. Um, suppose you write a bit of code one day and then you don't look at you look you don't look at it for another two weeks. You're probably not going to remember exactly what was going on there. Um, so it's very helpful to have comment. There's another type of comment which will span multiple lines if you have, I guess, a lot to say or something like that. Um, the way you do this is with a slash and then an asterisk. And here you can put whatever you want um, for as many lines as you want as you want and you can go as you know as far as you want and then you finish off the comment with an asterisk and then a slash this is called a block comment because it spans multiple lines so again this is all human readable and none of this is going to be used by C++ so even if you put valid C++ code in here so I'll just pretend like I was going to see out see out something even if you put valid code in there it's not going to get compiled into the executable because it's in a comment. So um, I guess that's something to, to watch out for. Some people will occasionally comment out lines of code if they're trying to debug something, but um, in this case just you know a block comment allows you to span multiple lines and a uh, I believe this might be called a line comment just allows you to do it with one line. So that's how you add comments into your program, and um, that's a little bit about how you can format your program. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.